Greetings, my friends, to the world before color television. That's right, my friends, welcome back to the Great War. And guess what? This is actually what the world looked like before the invention of color television. That's right, it was entirely in black and white. Now, I was actually thinking to putting on one of those old-time radio ad voices, but honestly, that would get grating after 20 seconds, and it would just be painful. So we're not going to do that. Instead, the Tannenberg and, well, the Verdun Tannenberg devs, what they did was they added a black and white mode to the game, which for a World War I game, it's actually jolly fascinating. So we're going to play a whole round of bollocks in this black and white mode and sort of see what it does. First off, I must admit, I did play a quick round of this earlier. I didn't end up using that recording tape because I was just in a bad mood. But it was fascinating. A lot of the sound effects are muffled and muted. The lighting actually changes quite drastically if you're in or outdoors. It's like, it's not just a simple black and white filter. They've actually added a lot to this um, black and white mode. So it's very fascinating. I will admit the constant film grain effects on the screen are slightly distracting, but I can ignore that. What's kind of been getting into my porridge is there's that faint crackling you can hear, and wow, has that been getting up my brisket lately. Well, perfectly pitched grenade by me. That was ruddy good. So yeah, we're just going to see how well we do. Of course, I'm... As you can obviously see, I'm established with the Bulgarians because, seriously, who else am I going to be? And we're going to give this a shot. Also, I just want to digress for a moment because it's amusing. The first time the Bulgarians were added to as a faction to this game, I made a video of, you know, just going through each of the classes and having a look at, you know, weapons and equipment and stuff. And I made an offhand comment about how I was amazed, you know, Bulgaria was actually in the war. I didn't even know that they were in the First World War. Well, actually, I did, but I didn't realize how much of an impact they were they had. And I got quite a few hate comments about it for like, Oh, you fucking idiot, how dare you not know Bulgaria was part of the war? They lost this many troops, and yada, yada, yada. And a couple of angry Bulgarians actually sent me a few hate comments and downvoted the video. But it's fascinating because since then... I've learned quite a lot about Bulgaria in the First World War, and I think, it, you know, their involvement is fascinating. But, above that, in terms of this game, the Bulgarians are my favourite faction in this game. It's, they're just, their weapons and their playstyle is just unlike any of the other ones. So I just always find it odd. Now, I got so much hate for the Bulgar, well, for not knowing about the Bulgarians, considering where they ended up in my personal preferences of factions now. Uh, I must admit, just thinking about it, the, what you could do with this black and white filter, I mean, a lot of people are going to do just, you know, play it like I am now for the novelty, but you could do a lot of machinima and you could do, um, you know, war propaganda, you could do like, you know, the old World War Two propaganda style, you know, videos. There's a lot you could actually do with it. And it's kind of fascinating, personally. Um, the potential behind it. Like, if I had more friends... Um, I do have two friends that play this game, but they're so infrequent that I can't really like, rely on them. I'd love to do some old, you know, do's and, do's and don'ts in the First World War and one of those old radio time voices. It is odd that the map's still in colour, but I guess you kind of need to do that to differentiate who's in control of what territory. So I'll let that slide. Alright. Come on. Fuck! You fucking filthy Russian scum! Bloody Cossack shits. Alright. We'll go for the C96 um, broom handle. And we will try and use the grenade to our best benefit. Fucking these Russians, man. Maybe it was the last update, but the Russians seem a lot more powerful. I was playing against them earlier today. And specifically the Russians, like the Romanians and stuff, their shooting is about, you know, as par. But the Cossacks, 
just seem to be kicking my ass a lot more than normal. Still, nothing like a 9mm round to the head to make a Russian shut up. Actually, no, this Morsa broom handle didn't didn't use a 9mm. There were the 9mm broom handles, but wasn't the early broom handle using the 765 by 15 It was a very bizarre cartridge. Nice, grenade got their ass. Might consult the map. Alright. Ooh, it's simultaneously harder and easier to see targets. Right, um, with the black and white. Got him. Nicely done. Right, I can't reload this gun. Good, I only had two shots left. Alright. Ooh. Alright, moving up. Ooh. Freaking Russians everywhere. Alright. Get into the dugout. Ah. Blasted Russians. Alright. Ooh. The broom handle cartridge, man, it actually packs a nice wallop. Although, to be fair, this is the first level. A semi-automatic weapon in of itself is actually crap. I deserve that. It's actually a ruddy good show. See, our troops seem to be just floundering. I don't like that. Alright, um... Alright. Nicely done. Ooh. Nice, 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 nice. Ooh, something satisfying about... Crap! I had a feeling there'd be more over there, but I just... I want the top of the hill. I'm annoyed with the fact that the... Ruddy Russians are winning this round. Alright, up we, up we go. Alright. Oh. Who needs a rifle? I probably will. If I'm firing at anything longer than the ranges I'm firing at. Fuck you, you cossack scum. I hope you go to the gulag and you die... A horrible, painful death in 1932. Alright, I need a rifle back. Ooh, what can I get? Local reconnaissance. It's not really useful, especially for someone like me who doesn't use the HUD. Like, it just seems like... Infantry, where the fuck are our troops? If the Russians are able to outflank our fucking dugouts... What is the point of having anyone around here? Great. Now... The Russians are just waltzing in. I want that Russian, and I want his head on a fucking spike. Damn it, someone beat me to that kill. Right, I'm going to put two shots into his fucking corpse. Because that's my opinion of you bloody Russians. Okay. I was going to say we should get all Vlad and the Impaler on these guys without setting up some modern art installations. This rifle's not bad. A little bit short for my taste, but not bad at all. Alright. Let's keep pushing up the hill, troops. Also, I think it's snow on the ground. Doesn't look very convincing. Uh, I'm just getting my ass beat by these filthy Russians and it's pissing me the fuck off. 
How are we losing the woodland artillery sector when that's that territory is inside our own front line? What the hell type of outfit are the bloody Germans running here? Alright. Seems like I'm the only soldier with a brain cell in this outfit. Alright, consult the map. Okay. We need to retake these positions. Oh, support. Smoke or reconnaissance? I guess we'll call in reconnaissance. I'd prefer some decent artillery fire myself. Sorry, that was just actually, it was a very beautiful shot watching the aircraft fly over. As I said, that's some of the things you could do with this, uh, like, black and white filter. Alright. <laughs> Greetings, German army soldier. Nice to see you. Alright. Oh, Romanians! Haven't fought any of them in a little bit. I was thinking it was just the Cossacks at this show. Wow, I've wasted three shots on the rifle with them, and one headshot from the Luger frickin' took them out. It's mildly embarrassing. Alright, we've got enemy rifle fire from the top of the hill. And we've got infantry trying to push up through the long grass. See if we can counter snipe the guys in the on the hill. Alright. We're managing to retain a slight advantage, but it's only slight. Grenade. Ooh. This long grass is very convenient for the Russians to hide in because of their uniforms. Ooh, actually. Grenades. No. German, don't run out into no man's... You kind of deserve that one, German, my friend. Alright. No, Bul Bulgarian. Oh... You idiots are lucky that I'm so bloody quick with this rifle because I have saved you from being frickin' killed by the Russians four times now. Oh, I must admit, the straight pull is such a beautiful rifle to use. I think in the stats it's actually my, um, it's counted as my favourite weapon because I've used it just the most. It has great sights. The straight pull is a lot faster than the standard bolt action. And it has very solid damage. Well, I suppose the rounds are quite chunky. The only disadvantage is because it's a the internal magazine, you can't reload rounds individually. Which can become a hassle. And it does seem to have limited stopping power over longer ranges, but at the 50 to 100 yard mark, which is where I'm, I primarily do a lot of my firing, then the rounds are actually ef very effective. We really, I really wish I could bring more than one grenade. Wow. See... That is the type of warfare that I like to see. Accurate, fast rifle fire. Able to push the enemy back. Oh, we're already advancing a lot faster than I thought we were. Alright, where are the... So we've got... 
Alright, this dugout marks the enemy frontline positions. You came so close to killing me, Russian. Wait, German, come back. I want grenades from you, thank you. Grenade. Alright, see if we can radio HQ. Ah, for every yard we're gaining in the northern sector, the enemy are counter-attacking across the south and regaining that territory. I don't know whether it's worth trying to hold on to the gains in the north against... or to mobilise the rest of the unit to the south. Screw it. We're going to mobilise to defend the north. Alright, phew. As I said, that's the one disadvantage, because you can't reload rounds individually, you have to reload them full by the stripper clip. If I've got one round left in the thing, I have to manually fire it and then come back and reload it. But then that's the same sort of strategy that the Napoleonic War troops used to do. They used to keep their muskets loaded at night and then at dawn they would just fire them into the ground or into a hill or something um, to get rid of the you know, previous charge. So I guess it's the same sort of philosophy of just firing off the last round so you can ensure you've got a optimal and up-to-date round in the chamber. You know, I wonder how much a I'm guessing the rifle like this will be very rare nowadays. I think this is the... Look at it next time I die. I think it's the 1888 straight pull. And considering the earliest rifle I've got is 1901, I highly doubt outside of Europe and a few specific collections there would be a old school rifle like this. But I'd love to have one. It just, it looks very refined, very, that old school, you know, well machined status. Like, it doesn't look utilitarian, it looks very attractive. Damn, five fucking Russians are swarming into that trench, filthy scum. What is this rifle? Yeah, M88-1900. Okay, so it's 1888- Infantry repeater. So it is German. Hmm. Alright. Oh, that was a well time grenade by the enemy. Cut the two advancing troops right down. What the? That's one limitation of the game I don't like. And it just it doesn't make much sense to me. So I jump into that trench, bayonet the first guy, and then the guy hits me with a rifle butt and I instantly die. How is a rifle butt stronger than a bayonet in melee? Like, I'm sorry, but getting stabbed in the gut should just end all conversation. Oh, well. Maybe the Russians are so drunk off fucking vodka that they couldn't get the message that they've been killed to reach their brain. Fuck! What the fuck did the rifle was the rifle doing jamming right then? You fucking shit! I hadn't even dropped it yet. Great, the Russians are regaining fucking territory all over the line. It annoys me because it's, all this is doing is dragging out the fucking battle. The Russians will regain all their positions. I will pull out some crafty tactics and counter-attack. Shut up, dying soldier. Stop screaming. And counter-attack. And then... It'll just be left back to square one. Okay. Seriously? Whatever soldier that is screaming to death, I will put a fucking bullet in your head. Just wait for the medic or shut the hell up. Yeah, slightly hypocritical for me to say, considering how I screamed from a few wounds in the past, but 
That was just rude after a while. You'd think shock would set in and they wouldn't scream at you for two minutes solid. <sighs> See, the Russians have just retaken all the fucking frontline positions and our idiot troops are just counterattacking at fucking nowhere. <sighs> Die. In fact, I am going... You fucking Russian scum. I seriously hope every single one of these Russian soldiers I'm fighting ends up in the fucking gulag. Not that... Uh, well, no, I'm playing as the Bulgarian, so... I guess it will be the Germans on my team who will end up being vilified in 30 years. In Bulgaria, I mean... Anyone even know what Bulgaria does anymore? I don't want to be rude, because, as I said, that type of language is what got me yelled at by those Bulgarians that other time, but my point is we're not really remembering anything bad Bulgaria has ever done. Alright, you fucking Russians. Good. Shoot that fucking Russian in the head and burn his corpse. Or feed it to the rats. Either one is preferable. <sighs> Alright, we're gonna need the Moors of Broom Handle, I think, for this close range fighting. Oh, let's call in some. Great. Enemy are calling in smoke. They're trying to use smoke to as cover. need to put them down. Put Fire at will, troops. Grenade. Nicely done. Alright. What the? Wait, were they Russians? Okay, I'm conf confused as to why those two Russians didn't shoot me if I was standing right next to them. Because of the black and white filter, I'm actually struggling to tell who's on what bloody side. The Cossacks I'm able to pick out because of their f stupid hats. But everyone else seems to be wearing very similar p styles of uniform, so I'm having trouble at an immediate glance. Checking them out. Look, you fucking Russian scum! Die. Every one of you, die. <sighs> They've just regained all their fucking dirt. Mm. This is pissing me off. Because I know I can play better than this. And I know my fucking team is better than this. And I'm seriously wondering if it's that fucking bullshit I've railed about in this game before. For those of you who don't know what I'm talking about, oh, yeah, I think it is actually literally what I'm talking about. So, there's a pattern I've noticed. They, they patch it a few times, and it seems to not be so preferable, but it creeps in now and then. It's what I call... Oh, I don't actually never have a name for it, believe it or not. But it seems to be a common preference I've kind of noticed in um, games of Tannenberg. Not so much of a done, believe it or not. How it will work is usually whatever side you're on, let's just say you are playing alone with the AI, will steamroll and get the enemy pretty much back to their defenses. You'll basically, you know, grind your way through them, take the enemy down. And then once the enemy reach about half reinforcement tickets, suddenly the enemy become 500% more competent and they will steamroll you back to your positions and then eventually your troops will get a brainwave and you will, you know, come back in from behind for the victory. It draws out the games a lot longer than I like it to. And it's literally arbitrary bullshit. Because you have situations where, I've, I've watched this, you started a match and an enemy you know, Russian soldier will be standing there, you know, shooting at you and missing a couple times. And then halfway through the round, 
Suddenly they're sniping you from 300 yards with a fucking cut down motion. It's just... I like game difficulty to make sense. And this is not game difficulty making sense. This is the developers drawing out every match by making the enemy suddenly more competent as the round goes. I originally thought it was that the enemy was, you know, able to get reinforcements to the front quicker because you're, you know, their reinforcement points are closer to them the more you drive them back. But it doesn't explain how they're able to shoot more effectively. And I literally think it is just the bots having a flexible difficulty, which is just... Yeah, I'm not a game developer, but shit like that doesn't make sense. Yeah, like that. My death there. How did that make sense? So the rush... Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe I'm just not in the mood to be playing this game right now, but I'm getting fucking pissed off at it because it is just... Die, Russian scum. Blow up. Kill them. The grenade only killed one. And again, look. Did you see that? My own side have suddenly become less competent. You can see the missing shots. This is the flexible difficulty level again. And it's not amusing to play. I also think maps definitely um, influence this flexible difficulty, as I'm going to call it from now on, a bit. So things like East Prussia is definitely, the map matches are a bit shorter because of the nature of the map itself, is how you're kind of fighting it. But other matches are like East Prussia, yeah. Troops are just getting cut down because they're fucking retarded. While the enemy troops are suddenly super com competent. And I don't mean to be rude, but a bunch of fucking Russian conscripts should not be able to get accurate headshots at fucking 400 yards with a freaking open sights cut down motion. It just doesn't make any sense. Greetings, German soldier. Uh, what rifle have you got? Oh, you've got my favourite rifle, the um, 1888 straight pull. Mm, with a bayonet attached. Very fancy. Alright. I'm sitting behind a bear... A, I'm sitting behind sandbags, and yet... See, the Russians were able to shoot me through. What the... Grenade. Headquarters, get me some freaking support. Alright. And again, as you see, as you can see here, that flexible difficulty is kicking in because my troops are suddenly having a resurgence in their skill. And again, did you see? That Russian missed me, yet, like two minutes ago, he would have made a shot like that and it would have instantly killed me. This is that flexible difficulty I'm talking about. I'm convinced this is a thing. I might just be delusional, but I'm honestly convinced that the game has flexible difficulty for the enemies that's designed to draw out matches. Which is just... I think it's just inconsistent and it just comes off as annoying as bullshit crap cover me must admit my favorite sidearm is definitely the c96 broom handle just has the ammunition capacity and the stopping power to really shut up most enemies all right you Thank you.
Ah, bollocks. Alright, Germans count, Russians are counter-attacking. So, you charge out into the open and get cunned down. Oh, of course you do. Uh. Alright. We need to move up to the central position and take these guys down. Alright, they're already swarming over the field guns. Help! Damn. Fuck. German, avenge me. No, don't stand in the... See what I mean about the flexible difficulty and the idiot tactics? That German soldier literally walked out, stood in the open, and didn't fire. I know I'm complaining overly much of the game. I know that. But the problem is, this is a persistent problem in this game. And I thought we'd fix this with the last couple of patches. What are they, the developers doing bringing this back when it was fixed? Like, this flexible difficulty problem was fixed. I, I haven't bitched about this for about four months because the problem was fixed. Yet... This last update they've done has brought it back. Why are you bringing back our things that are shit? It's like what will happen if this country votes Jacinda Ardern in for a second term. Why are we bringing back garbage? We don't need to. Oh well. We managed to win, just. But that was still annoying. 